God. Tell the people about it. Show it to them. Show the character of Jesus. Show the character of the blessed mother of Jesus, Mary. Inshallah. Yes? May the peace and blessings be upon him. Yes. Yes? And we say, radiallahu anha for the blessed Mary. Yes? May Allah be pleased with her. This is what we say, right? Because we have respect and reverence. So why don't they tell the people about the beauty of Christianity instead of arguing with the Muslims? And then they complain on their talk shows that Muslims are taking over, the Christians are leaving the churches. The Christians are not leaving the churches because of the Muslims, my friend. Because let's face it, most of you hate Islam. And most of you hate Muslims. Be honest about that. We, 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 we're not, I'm not upset by that. the reason behind it? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Look, the reason behind it is very simple. You know, if you fling enough mud on the people, even if they're not dirty, they look dirty. Okay? So you have the media, a Muslim man does something, Abdul Malik, Muslim, 52 year old, you know, abuses his wife, right? Like as if somehow Islam is the thing that made him do this thing, yes? But when a Christian does it, Derek Jameson, 42, you know, bad to his, you know, was, was harsh to his wife, had mental illness. His mum gave him cold baked beans when he was young and he was traumatized, right? And because of that, you know, he's now hurting people. But it's not about his Christianity. It's always about him being some poor victim. Yes? You look at Brevik. The guy who killed all those people in Norway. In his memorandum, you know, in his, he had a big crucifix. He had quoted biblical verses. You know, the guy who shot in New Zealand, he had uh, on his gun the dates of the Muslim and Christian, uh, you know, uh, battles of old. But he wasn't a Christian. It's not because of Christianity. Okay? But if a Muslim just has a Muslim name, I mean, even if he has a, a, a neighbor that's Muslim, you know, Derek Jameson, whose neighbor is Muslim, mm. was caught doing such and such, implying somehow maybe his you know, neighbor might have told him to do this, you know? You know, anything, any connection they can find. So when they complain that people are leaving Christianity, they're not leaving Christianity because the conniving, sneaky, snaky Muslims mm. are coming in there and they're spoiling your, uh, you know, your religion. No. We love Jesus. We're the only other religion that affirms that he was a prophet of Allah. Mm -hmm. We are the only other religion other than Christianity mm -hmm. that said he was blessed, that he was pure, that he was a prophet, a messenger, and that we learn from him as well, mm -hmm. from his example. This is why when you go to the mosque, we don't just talk about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him in the mosque. We talk about Isa alayhi salam, the prophet mm -hmm. Jesus. We talk about his blessed mother, mm -hmm. Maryam, Mary. And my name is Maryam, right? by the way. A whole chapter in the Quran named after her, honoring her, raising her. That's what, that's what bands and you know what? That's what bands you know what? We have no, Mo we have no uh, Joseph in the picture. Why? Because there's no suspicion. No suspicion of her purity. She's not with any man. Which was, by the way, under Judaism, you cannot be with an unmarried man. If you're not married, you can't be with another man. So we don't have Joseph in the picture. There's no man in the picture. She is pure, Allah says. She's been kept pure. And she's blessed. And we believe that. So why don't they go and preach that to the crowd? Why, they, why don't they teach that to the people? Maybe they'll come towards Christianity, right? All, of their, all they're doing, they're fighting Islam and then the people are asking questions. Every time they come to fight Islam and Muslims, why are they losing all the arguments? Wallahi, so many, so many people who've come to Islam, you know what, why they came to Islam? They said, when I used to watch you guys, I wanted you to lose. Wallahi, they say this to us. I wanted you guys to get thrashed. Every time a new Christian came, I thought, this guy's going to do it. This guy's going to do it. After a few years of watching these debates, they say, I started asking the question. If these guys are wrong, 
Why is nobody able to defeat them in their argumentation? So the hearts started to turn and they realized maybe they're not wrong. And then slowly, slowly, the door opened for Islam. Allah opened their hearts and many of them came to Islam. Why did they come to Islam? Because of these fools coming and arguing with the Muslims. So it's a counterproductive. What they're doing is counterproductive. It doesn't bring people to Christianity, it brings them to Islam. That's what's happening. Anyway, Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.